We drilled a 327 meter deep ice core, <laughs> which is ridiculous. There was a dramatic drill day. The drill was down eight hours. The drill mechanic, Etienne, it was critical that he was there. The entire day he worked on it, but he caught it just early enough before it was catastrophic to the motor. We drill a meter at a time, right? So for a mountain glacier at this altitude, 327 meters down, it's a record by a long shot. The ice has been sitting here, it's about three months, getting ready for what we're actually doing right now, which is the imaging and physical processing of the ice. It first goes into this custom horizontal bandsaw system and it cuts it almost in half. 47% fit that slab goes through this line scan imaging system, which gives a high resolution image of the ice and then it moves over to an ECM station, electrical conductivity meter. And it basically shows us when these big historical volcanic eruptions happened. And then it gets bagged and put in a tube and it goes into the archive for future scientists who can do more than we can do today. The 53% slab, that goes to another bandsaw and it gets cut in half into quarter rounds for other analyses to tell us something about the climate of the past. I hope what we learned from this ice core is so new that I couldn't tell you right now what it is. But I do really hope that we have close to 30,000 year old pre-Holocene ice, in which case we're bound to learn a lot of things we didn't know.